If you're trying to connect an audio interface to your iPad or your iPhone and you're finding that it's just not showing up correctly, in this video, I'm gonna let you know how to fix it. Let's go. This situation usually arises when you're using something like this, a multi-port adapter or hub, and you've got two different devices that are both trying to be the audio input and output. The way iPadOS and iOS work is that when you plug in something like an audio interface, if you plug it directly, say USB-C to USB-C, and then you swipe down from the top right and tap right here, it will actually show you the correct device that's being connected. However, if you've got multiple devices connected and the wrong one is showing up, here, here's how to fix it. In my setup, I use this, the Ugreen multi-port adapter so I can plug multiple USB devices and an HDMI monitor into my iPad. The problem is though, it wants to use the HDMI instead of the Steinberg UR22C. So how to fix it? It's simple. Because the iPad is going to use the last device connected as its audio input and output, all we need to do is unplug, and then wait a couple of seconds and plug back in. And what you're going to see here is that when this audio interface comes back on, it'll take a few seconds for the iPad to realize, and then like magic, it will switch from the HDMI back to the Steinberg audio interface. And this works exactly the same way if your adapter has a second audio interface, a USB microphone, or even a built-in sound card. All of those scenarios can mean that the wrong audio connection will be listed here as your main connection. And now we're good to go we can jump back into Logic Pro and start recording using this audio interface and it will no longer be using the HDMI audio connection. So there you have it, super simple one this time. If you're having issues, remember it's the last device plugged in that is going to be the default device on your iPhone or your iPad. So unplug and replug and you're good to go.